Now, one way to help you identify your transferable skills is to obviously do a sort of a self-assessment or a self-evaluation, but you can also ask other people, people who know you, people who have worked with you. They often know your skills better than you do because they see you more objectively, right? So if you're confused or unclear about what some of your transferable skills are, I would recommend that you ask other people with whom you have worked. Just ask them point blank. What do you think are my greatest skills? Where do you think I can transfer my abilities and strengths into other environments? Right? This is often a great way to get some quick and objective input and to learn what your transferable skills are, even if you yourself are having trouble figuring that out. Another thing is that most people take their own skills for granted. They just figure, well, that's what I do. You know, it's easy for me. It comes easy to me. So when someone says to you, Alexis, wow, you're a really great editor, right? You go, well, I guess, I don't know. It just comes easy to me. I just do it, you know, no big deal, right? But somebody else says, oh my God, I can't do that. I don't know how you do that. Who told you how to do that? Where did you learn that? But you take it for granted because it's just kind of the way you're wired. It's just the way you're born. It comes easily to you. But don't do that. Don't just say to yourself, eh, it's no big deal. I just do it because it comes easy to me. It's not really worth that much. It is worth something. It's worth a lot. Because the person next to you can't do it at all. That means you have a strength, you have an asset, you have abilities that are highly valuable. So think about that. Think about the things that you take for granted, the things that you just do kind of in your sleep. But no. Those things can have great, great value in the marketplace. I have many clients when we're trying to work out their um, accomplishment stories, and they say to me, oh, I was just doing my job. We're sitting there trying to identify their greatest accomplishments, and they say, I was just doing my job. Really. That's very short-sighted. That is extremely self-defeating. Instead, what you should be doing is taking stock of your accomplishments in every job you have, in every role, and building up that success file that I spoke about before. So this is very, very important, to not take it for granted, to really look at the value that you bring. And you need to learn to articulate those transferable skills. You need to learn to articulate them. People are not mind readers. When you go into an interview, they're like, they can't read your mind. They don't know the value you bring. They don't know your accomplishments, and they don't know your transferable skills unless you tell them. So obviously, first you need to identify them and then be able to articulate them.